After the third round in Mexico, players are now back to Europe for the fourth event of the season on the tight and twisty tarmac roads of Corsica. For this rally, also known as the Rally of 10,000 Corners, four stages are to be run on tarmac and there'll be two stops in the service park waiting for the players. For this fourth rally of the season, Jono performed exceptionally well with an overall time of 13.43.2, giving him his first eSports victory. But still playing hard on his PC, Speed Booster 27 reached second position on this event with a 4.6 difference ahead of Hesto and Nexel. This second place offers him the chance to overtake Nexel in the overall rankings. He's now leading the championship for the first time. What a great start for the second season of the championship with four different winners from four events, just like its real counterpart. Nothing can be more exciting now going into the up-and-coming rallies. Recently announced by Hyundai and Big Ben, the competition now becomes the eSports WRC powered by Hyundai, who will offer an incredible prize for the winner of the season. They'll take home from the final a Hyundai i20, worth 20,000 euros. At the end of this third round then, Speed Booster 27 leads the championship on 76 points. But only three points behind is Nexil, who will try again to regain the lead in Argentina, which is the next gravel event for us from April the 27th to the 30th. Or can we imagine a new leader after this rally? Perhaps Hesto or Jono? Just wait and see, but more importantly, keep training on WRC6.